I like to use watercolor because I feel like with watercolor, even if you only have 15 colors, you can actually create 300 colors or more. And watercolor is also very forgiving. If you make a mistake, it's easy to fix it, just like in real life. I am Luba Dross, an independent illustrator from Russia. And I have been living in China for almost 10 years already. I have been traveling around China for a while, been to a few places, but Beijing is my favorite city because I feel like um, in the old parts of Beijing, in the Hutuns, Forbidden City, Temple of Heaven, you can see China of the past. But if you look towards San Hun or China World Trade Center, then you can see China of the present or even China in the future. So I feel like in Beijing it's perfectly combined the past and the future. I like Beijing Hutun because that's what makes Beijing special for me. I like to take a walk there and see old people chatting, little kids are running, maybe somebody buys zin bean in the morning and later they would take a walk in the afternoon through the Hutuns. Those are all the little details that I really enjoy. In the Hutun, you can experience the heart of Beijing, the real soul of Beijing. And I enjoy seeing all those little details and putting them in the paintings. And that's how I want to share with people the beauty of the city, through those little things. I also want to share another painting through my paintings with people and I want to share the beautiful, the colorful Beijing, what I see. And I also like to experience a lot of uh, places in the city, go to all the beautiful different locations that a lot of people actually don't know and that's what they write to me when I share it on my WeChat moments. They write that they never even knew those, those places they exist in the city. I'm a self-taught watercolor illustrator, but I actually didn't major in painting or illustration. And after two or three years being in Beijing, I found myself being more and more interested in painting. And that's actually how I basically learned painting. But after I was sharing more and more of my paintings, uh, my friends, they started to ask me to paint something for them. And that's how my illustration career began. So in the beginning, my first few years, it was only foreigners who would buy my calendars. But now it's slowly changing. More and more young Chinese people, they would like to buy my calendars. And I feel like um, more of Chinese people, they're interested in uh, unique things, in the creative representation of Beijing. And I feel like now actually is a time that's full of opportunities for the creative sphere. Uh, I love new experiences and that's one of the reasons why I like Beijing because here you can always get new things, new knowledge, new experiences. For example, some of the things that uh, maybe they don't even have yet in USA or Europe, here it's already part of daily life. It's already nobody thinks that it's something special. Over 10 years I have been to many different cities and countries in Europe and I feel like in 10 years, there are almost no changes. Like there are no new shops, no new cafes open up. But here in Beijing, every year there is a new store, new museum. There's always something new, some, some new things coming up. And I feel like it's because China is developing with particularly fast speed. China has infinite possibilities.